Beware this holiday season. Thieves are now capable of stealing your wallet without even touching you. We went to Times Square to find out just how easy this really is. Let me uh, just walk around this side of you here and just go near your wallet here. And you have a, a MasterCard in there? Yeah, that's, that's, your, that's, that's, that's your card. And that's your expiration date right that's your there. Card there. It's crazy. You have a Chase card in your wallet, sir. <laughs> it's, a, uh, it's a Visa Chase card. Okay, you have a Visa card, and that's your number right there. I could take this number right now and uh, put it onto a mag stripe and go in a store and buy something right this minute. That's crazy. It's a little scary. It's really scary. I mean, there's just there's no way to protect yourself anymore, it seems like. Scary indeed. It's called electronic pickpocketing, stealing information right off your credit card with a portable card reader. But our next guest says there are ways you can protect yourself. Walt Augustinowitz is the founder of Identity Stronghold, which helps consumers block RFID hacking. Good morning to you, Walt. Good morning. This is scary. I think a lot of people there in Times Square were, were shocked to find out just how easy this is. And if you missed that, let's show the folks again. I have a credit card in my front pocket. So say I'm standing on a train, a subway, a bus, or just a crowded we just shopping kind of mall. Get near you, and uh, we would actually read that card right through the pocket. And uh, that's all we had to do is get near you. And boom, that number showed up. And this could happen anywhere because when you're out at a crowding shopping mall, mm -hmm. how many people bump up against you? This might be on purpose. And these things are everywhere, you say. Yeah, there's, there's over 100 million of these cards in circulation already. Most people don't even know they're, they have them on them. Um, they're easily scannable this way. And regardless of what the credit card issuers all say, we have scanned that data, copied it, made a card, walk into the store with a fake card, and bought stuff. $50, $250, we've done it, so it is possible. But credit card companies are telling you, you cannot use that information and buy things. That's what they're saying, but it, that is totally incorrect, because we have done it. Your company is going to help protect people, tell us Right, we, we actually make what's called the secure sleeve. This is basically a Tyvek sleeve with a shielding metal in it. Once your card is in here, no matter what we do, we can't read that card, so you're protected, you put it right back in your wallet. Um, we actually make shielded wallets, uh, uh, women's wallets, men's wallets, passport uh, covers. But once it's in here, every single slot in here shields that card, and it cannot be read once it's in here. And these would protect, these are for badges and things. Those are for badges, yeah. The, the U.S. federal government actually uses our badge holders all the time for their new federal ID card, too. And, uh, you know, we protect that as well. Are there mm -hmm. other ways... Uh, to mm -hmm. protect yourself, to protect sure. your card. Yeah, actually, if, if you wrapped it in tinfoil, it would do the same thing. If just, you wrapped your wallet or credit card yeah. in tinfoil. Yeah, it's just a pain in the neck when you're taking <laughs> it in and out. It tears and that kind of thing. So that's why we came up with the sleeve as an easy way someone could put something in. It's inexpensive, put it right back in their pocket. Is there a website people can go find sure. out more about this? Yeah, idstronghold.com. Walt Augustinowitz, mm -hmm. that is good information, and it is frightening stuff. Appreciate you Thank coming you. in, though. Thanks for having us.